Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we integrate two service node instances with each other. So it will be an inbound integration at one instance and on the second instance, it would be outbound integration. If you're not sure about integration in ServiceNow and you want to learn about basics of integration and see what is REST API Explorer and how helpful it is to build your APIs, please click on the top right corner. And in that video, I have explained in detail each and everything about integration basics. And that would be really helpful to you to get started with integrations in ServiceNow. And this is the use case which we are trying to achieve. We are trying to create an incident record from instance one to instance two. Basically, when an incident is created in instance one, we will try to replicate that incident in instance two, which should have almost all similar values in the instance two incident. What are the steps to achieve this? We will first of all get two service now instances. I already have procured two instances. This is the instance number one, which is 64472 in blue color. And the second instance is 30552, which is in pink color. And now from instance one, we will try to create an incident in instance two. So what are the steps to do that? I will take you step by step. The first step is to create a user in dev30552 which supports the REST integration or which will help you to authenticate in this instance. I'm in my instance number two, which is dev30552 in pink color. And I have created a user called third party. And if you notice here, I've made it web service access only. That means this user will not be able to log in through front end of service now, but it will be only used for integration. Secondly, I have provided two roles to this user, which are ITIL. So ITIL role will help this user to create an incident in this particular instance. And the second role which I have provided is REST underscore service. So that means it is supporting REST integration. These two roles are essential if you want to set up an integration between two instances. Next step is to create an authentication record in my instance number one. 64472. So this authentication record will authenticate that these are the user credentials of this instance number two and they will be used to create an incident here. So that's why we need to create this authentication record in instance number one. For that, I will go to my instance number one now. And now I'm in my instance number one, 64472. And I went into this table, sys auth profile basic. So you can go directly to this table and create a new record and name it anything you want. I have named it as instance number two and gave the username and the password which I had kept there. There is another way of creating this user, which is easier way, which we will come to later. So after you have created this record, next step is to create an inbound post rest method in dev30552, which we have discussed in the integration video. So I will quickly show you here as well. How can we do that in my instance number two? I'm now in my instance number two. I will go to REST API Explorer. I'll click here. And then I want a post request because I want to create a record here in my instance number two. I will click on create a record. And I will select the table as incident. After this, I will scroll down a bit and I will confirm my request and response format are JSON because these are easier to read and implement. And then I will go to the request body and I will add a couple of fields for my integration. For example, short description and I will just say it like test for my video. And maybe I can add another field caller and I will have to give the sys id of a user here so i will go to users table and i will copy one of the users sys id for example let's copy able tutors sys id i will copy this i'll go back here and i will paste it here and i'll just do a quick test to create an incident in this 30552 itself And as soon as I send the request, it says 201 created. So a new record has been created with this incident number in my instance. Let's quickly check that in the incident table. 
and here we can see test for my video now i will copy the post api from here and which we will be using in our instance number one the next step is to create a rest message in dev 64472 so rest message is used to implement the outbound integration so if we are in 64472 and trying to access 30552 so it will be an outbound integration so that's why we will create a rest message in 64472 and now i will go to rest message in my instance number one and create a new record and i can say here dev 30552 incident i can name it anything i want to generate an incident or maybe you can give your third party tool which you are trying to integrate with and now i will paste the api which we had copied from our instance number two which is the post api and here and under authentication type we will select basic authentication and here we will select the authentication profile as dev30552 which we had created in step number two the other way which was easier which i had told you is to click here again and click on new and then you would be able to create a new record from here itself and you don't have to go to that table now let's select this dev30552 and save this rest message as soon as it is saved and we scroll down at the bottom there is a new http method which automatically got created called default get and if you remember get is used to get all the records from the other instance let's quickly test this as well and try to get all the records from my instance number two and under http method if you see the authentication is to inherit from parent so that means it will inherit that authentication from the rest message i will quickly test this and we can see we got a 200 that means it was success and it was able to get all the incidents from the instance number two now our aim is to create an incident in instance number two for that we will have to create a new http method called post I can name it as I want. Maybe I can say post record and then we will select HTTP method as post and then here we can give again that endpoint which we had copied from instance number two or either we can leave it because it's a non mandatory field and if we leave it blank it will automatically pick it from the rest message. So there is no problem in keeping this as blank if you're using the same API which had been mentioned in the rest message then again I will keep the authentication type as inherit from parent if you want to change the authentication maybe that user which was defined in the rest message in the parent record cannot create a record but you want to create a record so that's why you can give another authentication here as well I'll just keep it as inherit from parent as of now and I will save this and as soon as I created rest message and a HTTP method under that, which is a post HTTP method, I will test this. So this is our step number five to test create a record from 64472 or from our instance number one to instance number two. So we will quickly test that. But before that, we will have to actually give some record here in JSON. So what we are trying to create like the short description or maybe the caller we can copy that from instance number two here itself where we had created our body. And if I copy this and change the short description, whatever short description I will give here and the caller ID or any other field which I will give here that would be created in my instance number two. But before that, if I remove this and I save this and I send this post record without any content or without any field, let's see what happens. I will click on test and if you see it has created a new record. So its HTTP status is 201. Let's quickly see that incident number here and that's ending with 9. I will go to my instance number 2. I will go to this incident table and I will search for that incident and we can see here the short description is blank the caller is blank 
all the primary fields which are supposed to be in an incident are already blank so this incident is of no use it's just a garbage value so that is why you should always have data policies in your ServiceNow instances if you don't know about data policies please click on the top right corner so we have tested this now that we are able to at least create incident from our instance number one to instance number two now next step is or the final step is to create an incident record in our instance number two with same values when an incident record is created in our 64472 instance or the instance number one for that i will go back to my instance number one and i will click back here and if i scroll down under related links i will see preview script usage the service now allows you to copy this script which it automatically generates now and then we can implement this script in our business rule and try to access this rest message through our code and then create an incident in instance number two i'll just copy this script as it is i'll go to a business rule and i will create a new business rule now and i will click on new and i will give a name of this business rule if you are not sure what are business rules please click on the top right corner and i will name this as create incident on instance 2 and i will give the table name as incident because i want it to run on our incident table and as soon as i create an incident here in our instance 1 it should create an incident in instance number 2 i will put it as insert that one to run is insert and now if i have to paste my script i will have to click advanced here and under advanced i will paste my script here but before that i want it to run maybe after the new record has been inserted or maybe an async so i'll just do it after because it's a demo and we don't care about performance as of now and then i will go to advanced and paste my script here as soon as it is pasted we will see there is a rest message v2 class which is already defined in service now to call your rest messages by giving the rest message name and the http method which you had created so they are passed as parameters in this rest message v2 class and it will automatically call the http method and which will internally call the third party which we are trying to access in that rest message and after this you can directly come here and see it is r dot execute so that means it will execute this rest method and whatever has been written in this http method it will be executed that means integration would be initiated and then it would be response so whatever response you are getting like the body all the incident details would be given in the body and what is the status code whether it was successful or not all those would be captured here in the response object which we have created here so before running this business rule there are a couple of things which i would like to highlight you can give another authentication type here as well and then you can set the authentication profile from the code as well secondly you can set mid server also if your third party or the instance number two or any other application which is located in some intranet and there are firewall things and you have already installed mid server there and you want to use that mid server for the integration you can set that mid server here if you don't know what are mid servers and why do we need mid servers please click on the top right corner and now i have to set a body as well here that means i have to give the content that what is the short description which should be copied there or what should be the caller which should be copied in the instance number two so we will be copying only two fields as of now for that i will write a code here line by line and i will remove everything else and i will try to create a body here by where body equals to and these are the curly braces and in this i will give the data in the json format so i can say short underscore description which is the backend name of the field and then i will pick up the value from our current instance instance number one where the incident would be created by us so i can say current dot get display value and then i will give the name of the field here in instance number one which is again short underscore description
and then second field which we want to copy is the caller id which i can say caller underscore id and i will say current dot get display value and the name of the field in our instance number one which is again caller id so i'll be sending these two fields here in the content or in the body to instance number two and how we will send this is by writing this line of code r dot set request body and i will give the body here and before sending that i should be able to convert that into a string also for that we already have a function called json dot stringify and then i will give the body here so now we are sending the json body inside the request and as well as we are telling our instance number one that this is the http method post record which we had created in our rest message and then execute it and get the body get the status code and maybe we can print it on our screen as well so i can say gs dot add info message and here i can print the body which would be returned as response so i can say response body and i can print that response body and in second line i will also print the status code which was returned so i can copy here the http status and then again http status and if there is any exception that would be caught here in the exception message i'll just quickly save this and as soon as it is saved i will try to create an incident here in our instance number one i'll click new here and i will give the caller name as for example able tutor and i will give short description please copy this incident in instance 2 okay and i have a data policy in my instance number one to have this phone number as mandatory so it will not be in your instance so you can skip this part so i'm just putting uh, some random value here and i will save this or submit this and as soon as i save this it will create an incident in instance number two and we can see the response body which was received incident number which was received from instance number two and this is the code 201 so that means it has been successfully created i will copy this incident number and i will go to my instance number two which is 30552 and try to search that incident number and we can see it has been created just now and the short description has been copied and as well as the caller and you can copy as many fields as you want from instance number one to instance number two i hope this video was quite simple and easy to understand and very helpful to you if you are getting started with integrations and you wanted a demo for that Please do subscribe to my channel. Let me know in comments if you have any questions and don't forget to like this video. Thank you for watching this video.